and welcome back again to Spiritual Growth Tarot and Astrology. Today I'm just going to use the cards though. Uh, Starlight Glazer has a question, a really good question. She's wondering when Trump is going to be leaving this earthly plane. Uh, so anyway, let me swap my cameras here and uh, I, I think I'll use a, a few different decks to get different perspectives and see what comes through. Okay, hold on one second. I'll be right back. Okay, so the second I was getting the camera set up, uh, <laughs> I heard 2025. So, okay. So I said, when? Okay, when? 2025. And I heard March. So I'm just going to go with that. I've learned the hard way not to complicate it when <laughs> I receive direct guidance like that. So there you go. Okay, March 2025. I'm going to use, I already have the tarot already um, uh, set for reversals. That, that deck is pretty well shuffled. I just need to get the kipper in line here. So these are the two decks I'm using, in case you wanted to know. But I, the main thing I want to see with the cards is what are the conditions what are the conditions around um, around Trump's uh, demise? Like, what's going on with him in his life when it happens? Okay, so I think that's good enough there for the Kipper. Let's start with the Tarot. What is going on with his life? What is going on? Okay. Forces in motion. Uh, it has to do with the truth coming out. Okay. His greatest challenge about that time Yeah, he's having trouble with resources. He's having trouble reevaluating his plans. Uh, yeah, money troubles, failure. The truth is coming out that he's a big, fat failure. What else? He doesn't have any struggle left. He doesn't have any fight. He's uh, exhausted. That's pretty amazing there. Okay. You know what? Maybe I'll just do this and just do a couple more cards and then uh, I'll do the Kipper over here. Let's see how many I can fit here. So, no no fight left. Can't, he, knows he, he knows he cannot win no matter how hard he tries. Too many arguments, too much going on. And of course, legal, just major legal struggles. The truth, I mean, my God, to have, <laughs> to have the Ace of Swords, the Sword of Truth, and then the King of Swords come through. So he's just losing so many, uh, so many legal battles. He knows he cannot win. Oh, and he's restless and worried. Yeah. Okay. So that, that's good enough for there. Let's just leave that. Restless and worried and wanting to get out of Dodge is what I'm getting there. So with the Kipper. Right there. Okay, so here's the situation, right? That's what we're asking about. Here's all of his lies and subterfuge. It, this is also a card of rivals and enemies. Yikes. Oh, he's, he's really, really worried about facing imprisonment. And the investigations are probably just nonstop. The investigations are going to take him down, and he knows it. And it's over January 6th, and it's over his risky financial behavior. And he's feeling really, really down and extremely helpless. And his, um, 
his, uh, you know, clan, Trump org, uh, his brand is down, is gone. His brand is gone. His clannish behavior, his, all of his real estate holdings, all of his security and stability uh, are just, he's known as, you know, a mob boss pretty much, but a failure at a mob boss because he does, <laughs> he's not doing very well at anything. I, um, yeah, my goodness. Okay, and then to have, yeah, to have this line here, it's all, it's, it's more about what gets him down the most and gets him, you know, to, is he going to run away as a thing? You know what, maybe I should, let's, let's do a few more, um, I think, I, yeah, I can fit uh, two more columns here with the kipper. Okay, so his rivals are working against him. Something new that comes out. Health issues. J6 um, investigation just levels him. And the, there's that new strategy for change. He wants to get out of Dodge. Um, but notice I don't have, you know, I was thinking maybe, oh, and here's, he is, his reputation, right? Yeah. Um, the card I was thinking would be this one, if he's, you know, like actually going to try and get away and then, you know, die in Saudi Arabia. I'm not so sure now. Uh, it might be that things change because he hangs on. You know, that's... One thing about him is his, uh, you know, tenacity, and he, he just, that part of him that just doesn't give up. Uh, but then that can do him in if he <laughs> wants to, yeah. So, a very painful loss and ending creates change and even though there might be someone supportive that he has some strategy with, it what's hanging over him that which is the most challenging thing is the fact that he, he the thought of him going to prison, you know, he's a germaphobe. The thought of him not being able to um, have butlers <laughs> in his in his cell with him. Uh, that that's a real problem. So, and you know, and if he does go down for treason with the January 6th insurrection, I, I, he would lose Secret Service protection. He would lose, uh, you know, all, all means of safety and security. And he, who knows which, you know, jail he would, or prison he would go in, but... No, if he did, you know what, maybe I, maybe I should walk that back. If they did keep Secret Service protection on him, it would only be uh, to keep any secrets going out that he might know. But then again, hasn't he already sold everything that he could to every country he could? And isn't that one of the main things that they will get him for? Wouldn't you think? So anyway... At his demise, here's his demise here, he's still working, and he's still working with liars and enemies and cheats and rivals. And there, it's all about, you know, his organization. And there's something, something new, or maybe, because we do have the bad health card here, he might get a, a childhood disease that, um, you know, like a, um, you know, something that, that kids get, get and get they get vaccinated or they have a vaccinations for but he's older and maybe you know things have worn off because this could be that he's got a risky situation comes in contact with a child right because right here now on another level with the thoughts card you know ruling the mind and the child here we've got alzheimer's Right, and we know that that's the case there. So that's a definitely a factor in it. All the investigations weighing down on him. 
leads him into this place of just, oh my God. And then these two cards combined, because the despair card is our card of violence, and the community card is our, for me, it's the card I use for January 6th, um, uh, investigation, investigation, January 6th, and then uh, violence. And that is a big change. It, but his death will be a big change as well. But the circumstances around him are all about, just to summarize and then I'll close this up, all about him feeling helpless, him being watched, surveillance, and uh, crisis possibly with these two cards combined. I... Uh, and J6, I think Jack Smith is going to get him. And I don't know who this supportive man would be, and I don't really friggin' care because he's done it. He's gone. Maybe it's Putin. You know, maybe he and Putin do go at about the same time. I, I kind of doubt that Putin will last until 2025. And a lot of readers, I mean, all of us saw him dying a long time ago. But then, then we saw him upright. But the last time that they can legitimately say Putin was still upright was uh, September 2022. That's a long time ago. That's over a year. So, yeah, body doubles are a possibility. And, and if not, um, you know, just propaganda, Russian propaganda. So I don't know that this would be Putin, but... You know, this can be our standing card for any supportive man around him. So it could be MBS in Saudi Arabia. But I don't know that he makes it there. Interesting. We're going to have to wait and see. And of course, you know, uh, the way these psychopaths go, they usually, well, not always, but usually just this one big fall really fast. So, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Bye.